Hey, old friend. Haven't seen you in a while. The stage doth reflect life. Or is it life reflecting the stage? This mirror shows us who we are, the truth. Or are we the illusion and the mirror real? Can we trust its reflection? Is it not a bent lens, tainted glass, fogged and smoked for our amusement? Who's to say? We are, because we are artists. We made the mirror, we cracked the mirror, because we are improvisers, and we prov with no regrets. We back down from no one. We deliver that message every night at this theater. Mm -hmm. Improv is chasing the ever-elusive moment. It's giving birth while dying. And each of you has a baby inside of you. Oh, no. And it is my job to deliver that baby and raise it with you. Like a wet nurse oh. or a midwife. Yeah, midwife. like a doula. And this, is this making sense? Yeah. 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 You guys got me? You're with me? Yeah. 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 But if we're going to raise this baby, every now and then, you got to bring in a nanny. She is from Minnesota. I had seen some of her work on YouTube. She's in this group called Zany Brains. She said she was interested in moving down here, and I said, we would love to have you. And she's like, well... Is she blonde? She's a natural blonde. And she's tall. You know, like every basketball team needs a center. Man, she's got a reach. And uh, she's very... Some natural blonde? Oh, is that, was that a dig at me? Because I'll tell you this, my colorist has won awards. He has been showcased. Hannah, no, it, it's not hatred, it's insecurity. Don't run away. God, you got long strides. Hey, Hannah. Are you leaving already? Uh, do I know you? Uh, I rid of me, Joshua. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Uh, that's just... It's just like a sibling rivalry thing. Here at the garage, we're all a family, you know? We have each other's backs, and we may give each other a hard time now and then, a little noogie here, a little shove there, but at the end of the day, there's nobody I would trust my life with more than those people in that building. And I think with enough time, you'll feel like family too. So what do you say? <laughs> well, I guess that's that. <laughs> when did you know that you were destined to be on stage, that you wanted to make people laugh? You know what I knew? I was in um, uh, seventh grade, and there was this Christmas pageant at my school, and I saw my parents looking up at me. My mom, my dad wasn't around. And she couldn't have been prouder of me. Like she was just beaming. And I thought, I want to say things in front of people. And, you know, that in a situation where they can't leave or be frowned upon by the general group. No, I understand. It, it's an addiction. It's awful. But it's amazing. It's amazing. And if you can feed it, as long as you can, don't ever recover. Man. All right, I gotta get home before I get feel too much of the effects of all this. All right, because if I don't, I'm not gonna be wide awake enough to make myself another cocktail. That makes all sense. All right, hey, Smitty, can you lock up? Thanks, Smith. Good man, Smitty. Have you seen The Marvelous Miss Maisel? No, I heard it's amazing. She's marvelous. <laughs> Who would do something like this? I think it's written right here. That's Minnesota lingo all over our wall. <laughs> I 
Minnesota. 